Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Satisfactory Desert Bus. I think I got that right. We're gonna find out. It's it's looking pretty good. the The console is central. That's important. There it is. It's the wrong color. Hold on. There we go. It's the right color. Oh no, I fell off. I don't want to miss the thing. It's up there anyway. We just watch. this thing come down. I imagine they haven't particularly changed this animation recently. There it is. And... Kachunk. Nice. And there's the platform. We have rebuilt the space elevator. Now's the question of whether I need to redo the, the previous steps of research now. Oh god, I fell. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, I'll just fix that. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That was... That could have gone wrong if I had that loaded. I should... I, what, I don't know what to have equipped. They're all... They can all be misclicked. Um... That is the same step it was at before. That's unlocking tiers 5 and 6. We are fine. Awesome. Yeah, let me look at this. Like, so it's, it's pretty... I see on the edge here. Then back here, it's like... I think that's where it was before. Like, if I highlight it, it doesn't show the banning box. If I try and build a thing near it, there we go. It shows the box. And I think I, I lined it up correctly. So, like... We go there, and then we go here. It should look the same. I think I nailed that? I feel like I did. One more check over here. Yeah, I think I got that exactly right. Awesome. Did it, fixed it, no longer a problem. Space elevator's back like it was never gone in the first place. Nobody saw anything. It's fine. We always had a space elevator. What are you talking about? This can all go. There's no purpose to this now. We're not making steel anywhere around here and we won't be ever... Though at some point we will need coal on the main bus. That's something to bear in mind. Okay, so... Uh, today's project. Last episode we set up... Um, iron rod production, so we now have iron rods and iron plates. Today's project is to make use of, of uh, the fact that we have this new system by tearing down the old one. I like how it even looks old-fashioned because I went for the just the, the unpainted steel. Like the, the corrugated iron look and this is like the fancy new thing. But yeah, we're, we're getting rid of the old today. We've built the new. Time to tear this thing down and then we're going to build our main bus over here. So we'll, and we'll just get started on it. Like there's nothing There's nothing fancy to it. We just begin the tearing down of the bits we need to. We don't actually have to tear the whole thing apart. We just need to make enough space to get on with uh, with our work. So a lot of this I'm just going to leave hanging for a while before I actually need to get rid of it. Because I can't be bothered doing the whole thing right now. And I'm sure you'll get a little bit bored if I sit here doing nothing but tearing down structures for a while. Oh, they're all making horrible noises when I shut them down. It's the sound of a power failure. It doesn't even make sense as to why that's the case. But sure. So yeah, I was so proud of this build when I initially made it, and, and it worked at the time. At the time it was a brilliant idea, but now it's pointless in so many various ways. Like, you could build it still, and it would it would serve your factory well, but there are so much better ways to build a, a scalable iron production system now that, uh, yeah, it's sad. All this work was for nothing in the end. Such is, is the way of early access factory games. The way to play the game is going to change. You got to roll with the punches. You got to learn the new, the new systems. I'm fine with it. And the new system we've got is way more uh, efficient in terms of space because it, it scales vertically only, pretty much. So I definitely can't be unhappy about that. So yeah, we only really need to tear down half of this for now. Just this side of it. So the other side can carry on functioning, and presumably it still is. So I think it's still supplementing our uh, iron rod supply, which uh, we, it might as well. It'll help us out. Press the button. Oh dear. And conveniently, this is all cleared out of materials to help us... Uh, tear it apart without ending up with a adventure full of crap. 
I say crap, it's iron rods, which we do need some of, but I think we already have more than enough from tearing all this down in the first place. And I think I'm going to cut it there. I mean, this is the one half of the system. We'll leave the other half intact so it can do its thing. And, uh, oh, the walkways can stay, actually. They're high enough that they don't interfere with anything. Yeah, that doesn't need to go. Uh, all of this needs to go, though. The ore supply lines, which we've already repurposed for other things. Turn that out, and uh, we've got a space to work with. Oh, I don't know what I deconstructed there. Maybe nothing. Is this... The animation doesn't go when I'm not deconstructing something, so I just deconstructed something somewhere, presumably. No idea what. And... Done. Okay. We've got our space to work with. So, I was thinking of having... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was thinking of having the other half of the main bus start here, so then we have a two-wide gap between. But I think I'm going to have it wider. There's going to be three tiles, and we're going to start it here. So I actually need to tear this down. And also, these bits of walkway are in our way now. Oh, I deconstructed something there, and I don't know what it was. At least I think I did. I'm not really sure. That doesn't make it any better. Oh, why can't I build there? Oh, that clips it on the corner, presumably. That's fine, we don't actually need that, I just wanted to. Anyway, we've basically just got to mirror uh, the system we've got here. So, on the edge, and then in the middle. So, this is free, and then here is where we start. One, two, three, four, five. The actual number doesn't matter right now, I just feel like doing five. Maybe six for this one, I think that's what I've done there. Might as well mirror what I've got going on there. And uh, I'm going to keep that up as we go along with it. Alright, and then every two, build another one. It's the nice thing about having some of the system already in place is that in implementing this one, I can just uh, build things on mass. Helps to save time when you can just get it all done in one go. Oh, missed. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm misclicking things, hitting keys all over the place. I'm a mess. You guys already know that I'm terrible at hitting keys and all that stuff. Once this is in place, we'll put the belts across and then it'll be ready to receive... Uh, most likely steel first. Oh, I'm out of iron rods. Well, it has to be expected. I just built a space elevator, which involved me having to chuck away some of my supplies just so I could pick up the supplies dropped by the space elevator being deconstructed in the first place. There. Um, we're doing pretty well for everything else, actually. Though, I probably want some more reinforced iron plates to just spam Mark II belts. Is there probably going to be needed? Anything else I need? Um, I'm doing pretty well, actually, for all things. Alright. We'll just string a bunch of Mark II belts along. Uh, we also need uh, a ground-level conveyor pole on this particular section. Oh, I, I forget I have to double-click it to actually make it place, because it's like, you want this height? It confirms it before you actually build the thing. I also got to remember I should always build the stackables first because it's much more fiddly to build the stackables when there's already a, a pole there. I know I haven't made these all even, or have I? No, I haven't made them all even. Yeah, I, I was randomly clicking most of the time and just aiming for roughly the correct number. Alright, and we'll get our Mark II belts running along. This will probably be iron uh, or steel beams. The next one will probably be steel pipes, tubes, or whatever they're called. I don't know. And then we'll probably have copper wire. Actually, I mean, maybe we should start with copper wire just because it's there's so many things that need it. It makes sense to have it on the ground already. I said being on the like all the way down on the ground is not necessarily the best place for a commonly used material to be. Being like in this middle one is probably the best place for that. I will also prepare the 
secondary uh, belt stuff. Um, I don't know what to call it. The secondary uh, bus column. Technically, I could probably build this bus uh, without this. I could probably just have it all on one stack, but I like having them split like this because it's going to give me some versatility in where the belts can go. And that they can move up and down and they can kind of compress to make space for things and basically makes it easier to move them around as the bus goes along if there's certain things I need to get out of the way of. So I think it's, uh, it's worth having the second tower of them. Okay, yeah, I changed my heights halfway through here, didn't I? That's what's gone on here. Also, it means I can hop through the thing super easy. Otherwise, I'd have a nightmare navigating around. I'd have to run to one end in order to, to get anywhere, and it would be a pain. Oh, I'm just going to fill in a bunch of these now. That said, this is probably a dumb idea, because soon I'll have Mark III belts, and I can just uh, use them instead. I need to up these by... Oh, just that one, actually. There we go, there's the, the first skeleton of the main bus. Some of these may need to be reversed later, that's something to bear in mind. I maybe shouldn't be building these yet, really, because I, I don't know what's going to be on them and what direction it's going to travel in. A lot of these are going to go backwards, particularly the ones on this secondary one, because I'm thinking inputs here, outputs here most of the time. I'm trying to put things that are commonly used on this one and less commonly used on this one. So things like uh, stators. I think I've previously said in the series, stators don't need to be on the main bus. That is no longer true, because nuclear power uses stators to make something. Or it's... wait, it might be turbo motors? I think suddenly a bunch of things use stators in the nuclear tier, when previously the only thing that needed them was motors, so I didn't even bother putting them on the main bus. So that's a pain, because it means the main bus in my, uh, my offline game now needs to be redone with the, the stators somehow getting on it. But... By having a staggered system with gaps in the middle, I could use one of those for the stages in a pinch. So it does have its uses that way. I should have had this be a ramp, shouldn't I? Though eventually I want this all to be a flat plane. Anyway, all these belts will need to be raised. Um, okay. So, I think I will just do uh, steel beams, steel pipes, and then wires. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but yeah, the things we need to make... I think the first, the very first thing to do is make stators. So let's, like start setting that up. About there. Um, is that enough room to move? It should be. But then there's loads of room to move here. I should have it further forward just because there's the space to do it. It'll make it easier to manage stuff uh, at the back. So have it be like... Yep, that'll do. Tons of space back here now. We'll build a couple of them to start with and see what we need. Um, See, so yeah, I, th I think... Oh, and I do have an alternate recipe. But the alternate recipe uses quick wire. I think I just want to use normal wire because I've got this plan to make ridiculous amounts of wire using iron. So I think it's, it's just better to do that. Often I do go for the alternate recipes that require quick wire, but when you get to the very late game, your quick wire demands will skyrocket and it will become a huge pain, especially if you've used a lot of alternate recipes up to that point. So, benefit of hindsight that I can use in this series, I'm going to make uh, stages with a standard recipe instead. It's going to use more steel, but that's probably okay. At the end of the day, if we really need it, we can switch to the quick wire one and, and we'll work something out for that. But for now, we'll go for the standard data recipe using wire. Uh, and we'll be able to make uh, 12 per minute. How many rotors are we making per minute, I wonder? Worth checking that so we can have neat numbers. Over here. Oh, mm, eh. We're making six per minute with these. We got three of these going. Okay, we'll make three making stages then, and that's even. Though rotors are used for other things, but only, uh, like, construction projects early on. So we'll need them occasionally in small bursts. Should be fine. So stator, stator, and stator. 18 per minute of each, which I think means we'll be making 9 per minute of motors, or it might be 18 per minute of motors. Uh, and now we need the stuff. We need many things. So, let's go get the steel. We only need the steel pipes right now, but I'm going to bring over the uh, the beams too. Let's actually bring them along here. That makes some sense. Let's actually build up this section here to this level, because that's the plan ultimately for this. It's all going to be this level. 
But now I'll have a ramp at the end. Like, just a quick, steep one. Because we're not ready to have the whole thing paved yet. But bit by bit, we're slowly, like, adapting various different areas of the factory to our, our future plans. It's a constant, uh, steady process. Okay, we're not allowed to do that. I'm gonna build one there, and then you can just not have something. It's fine. There we go. We now have a flat platform between Space Elevator and the, uh, the under iron production area. Uh, now we gotta work out the root of the steel stuff. Using stackables. In fact, let's go start putting those in, like, over here. Let's have just a stackable highway, just dead middle here. I wonder if we can just leap the whole thing in one go. Whoops. There. Let me check, because that'd be nice if we can. Uh, uh, mm, there we go. Can, will, you let, will you let me build? There we go. I, I, was it, is it like the wire? Not allowing me to build because the wire's in the way? Weird. Uh, oh. And it is long enough to do that. We can leap the whole thing in one go. I approve. This is nice. There we go, with Mark II's. I don't know if we actually need Mark II's for steel stuff. I forget what uh, steel stuff we have. So I built that like three episodes ago now. My memory doesn't last that long. To be fair, I recorded those like a week or more earlier than recording this particular one. Can I even get in there to look? I've, I've kind of sealed this off. I've not made this easy for myself. I think I, I kind of assumed that I would just remember the production rate, so I would never need to go inside this building, but I've absolutely forgotten the production rate. I'm going to put a hole in it and have a look. What have we got? I think it's eight of, of them, right? Yep, yeah, eight. And this is producing... Uh, what is that? 30, 40... No, 30, 60... 120. 120 per minute of these... And 80 per minute of those. Okay, so yeah, more two belts is what we want. And I'll, I'll, I'm just going to leave that open, whatever. I'll, put, I'll work out putting a door in another time. Alright, uh, where do I need to go? Where is that stackable? Uh, we just have to aim for the corner of that building, don't we? That shouldn't be too hard. Let's, uh, let's make this fairly high. The building's quite high up already. No need to drop the, the height down so soon. You go to up there. You to there. And then we'll have some sort of weird stackable junction here. Uh, does that work? It kind of works. I think we can get away with that. You go there. You go there. We'll make sure not to drop down or we will end up clipping through the coal. Here looks pretty good. Turn it this way a bit more now. I think that's okay. You to there. It's hard to tell if it's actually sloping down or not. That's 3D for you. There we go. There's some minor clipping going on, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's that's clipping. Do I care? No. And if I do want to move something, I'll move the coal. Because it's one belt, not two. Okay. It's actually lining up like, like here. Which isn't right. Oh well. That's probably too far. Move it back a bit. There. Four high should be okay. I think it's going to clip through the uh, the power line. Oh, for, for a relatively barren area of my factory, I'm really just like bumping everything into everything else here. Though actually, it's fine. It's still over the top. That's its perspective. It's messing with me. Okay. Now, did I put the beams on the bottom? I realize I that's important. No, I've not. I've put the the pipes on the bottom. Whoops. That's a problem. I wanted them the other way around. I mean, I can have them this way. Just, I kind of... Ah, we'll just go with that. It's fine. 
Okay, more stackables. Aiming dead on for where the, uh, we'll go this way a smidge. But basically aiming for the main bus. We're gonna have to go up a bit, I think, just to make sure we're clear of any vehicles. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, that's the worst. Okay, and then one just past these. This belt can show those things how it's meant to be done. I just double built one, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if that can happen anymore now. They might have made it so you can't duplicate build the stackables inside each other. Because I did that a lot the first time they became a thing. It was a problem. Alright, and then... Start lowering it here. Plug them into there. And then... Plug them into their actual final points. I've just run out of uh, reinforced iron plates. What timing? At least I'm right by the uh, the storage of them. Huh? There we go. Yeah, we're burning through these right now. We need higher production rates of these. Or we need to get the Mark III so we don't need to use reinforced iron plates anymore. Because god do you hoover them up just before you unlock uh, steel. Oh, there we go. And... There we go, right, we now have the steel connected to the main bus on their half of it. And by the way, there's I've got plans for things that need to cross over, because that will have to happen uh, sooner rather than later. The next thing we need is wires, which I believe aren't coming over here right now. Yeah, the, we've got just all the iron stuff here, and then rotors and not much else. It's just a backup supply of rods till we get Mark 3s. It's just Mark 3s. Everything is waiting on Mark 3s right now. It's it's a pain. I could just manually make the motors, but I've made I've made that promise to myself that I'm going to do this properly, that I'm going to feed the motors from production stuff into the damn space elevator the proper way. I'm not just handcrafting it. Not this time. Done it too many times before. So, we need a, a copper line. Let's just help plunk a splitter on this and do the thing. Wire is going to change later, so we don't need this to be good right now. And uh, it's definitely not going to be. There we go. And that is everything we need to make state of production. So, steel pipes and wire. We need 60 per minute of wire for one of these. So we can only run two at most. And I don't know if the wire system we have right now is producing 60 per minute. Or 120 per minute. I think it's producing 60 per minute. I can't be sure though it could be 120. Well, I mean, we're going to find out one way or another. Oh dear. Okay, so. Um, it's the standard system. Actually, it's not for this. It is slightly different. So, plonk a splitter on here. And one on here. Yeah, they're going to have to stay... We'll keep, we'll keep the, this one on the ground. That should work fine. So, flip that around. This one does give us guides for locking onto the, uh, the inputs conveniently. So this should work. But long, long term something like this wouldn't. That's why um, it's better to have something... Like the, so the problem is that having something on the actual ground level breaks my usual system, and I think that problem happened over there, didn't it? Uh, with the uh, the modular frames, we've had that problem, and so I had to like send it up and back down, or whatever I ended up doing there. I can't remember what I ended up doing there. But it's that same problem. In this case, I think we could just use some diagonal belts to work it, and it should be fine. Mark twos between all of these. And then... Connect them in. Yeah, there's enough clearance here that we can make it work. So... One thing we want to do is try and lower this belt a bit to start with. It does need to be lower. So... Let's get a stackable... There... Does that line up dead middle with this? No, it's, it's not. We need it closer then. Or it won't work. There. And will that connect? No. Too much. 
Okay, what about... Uh, another way to do it, actually, is to have the stackable be here. That is a slope that can presumably be achieved. So it'll do this. I will build the splitter on the diagonal belt and it'll probably work okay. Line up about with that. Hard to see though because there's a blooming pipe in the way of all things. Oh, oh, we've got to move it up this way because of the, the turn at the end of the slope. Uh, that might not work. That's We had to go a long way there before it would allow it. Nope, not a thing. Okay, we've got to change it around a bit. Let's instead have the stackable all the way over here. This might not actually make things any better. Yeah, here. So we have it slope to there. It's still lowered down, so more likely to be able to connect if it can. And this time we can actually line up the splitter correctly, which is important for getting it right. So, there. Will this work? No. Is it because there's a turn in it still? Uh, now that's pretty lined up. Okay. Right, we'll use a, a vertical conveyor. That will do it. I guess I should have just been doing that from the start. That is now the solution you're always meant to use for problems of this nature. There. Now it should be fine. Let's uh, remove that. Let's put one here again. And then put one on the end over here. Line them up with the gap between assemblers. Even if the assembler's not there yet, because we may expand this later. But with how much it vacuums up uh, copper wire, probably not. Okay. This should work fine now. So I'm just going to build the whole thing. And... Oh, there. That should... Yeah, there's plenty of room for that to slope down. The only issue we have now is that the supply simply won't be fast enough to feed all these. Uh, also, power lines uh, and the output. Power lines probably work better over here. We've left plenty of space. Nope. Mm. Connect you and to you. Both of those connect on that one. Then we've got to work at where it connects on the end. What did I do for the other side of this system? There we go. You can just leap straight through them. Super easy. It's very nice. Um, I did the power lines along this line. Did I maintain that? Uh, I kept that pretty standard, though. I've not. Of, what have I done over there? Why is that out of position? Ah, because of the the vertical conveyor. Uh, and that's an unusual situation. That shouldn't be here. That so that's uh, an exception. And we'll carry on sticking with having it be this center line here. Because we won't end up building a vertical conveyor like that again. Most likely, there are possibilities, but it shouldn't happen. Oh, we can just connect that across to that one. Doesn't line up exactly with things, but it's fine. And that is these running and producing stators. Now we just need to uh, get them outputting onto the bus. So merger facing towards me. We've always got to keep uh, everything central to these foundations because that ensures that it will always be able to connect to this because the uh, stackables are always along the, uh, the the seam between two uh, foundations. Okay, so we can just use Mark 1s for these outputs most definitely. In fact, we can almost certainly use Mark 1s for the whole thing, but just for... I don't know, future proofing or whatever, I'm gonna put twos in, because we'll never exceed twos in uh in the production of um stators, that's never gonna happen. And this is going to be the stator belt, so the neat thing about this that I've discovered about uh these belts is that when they're when it's all lined up with foundations and stuff, the markers on the belts actually line up neatly. So the dead middle of this splitter lines up perfectly with this little seam here. 
So all I need to do is point at it and build a splitter. Or a merger, as the case may be. Though I realise there's actually uh, there's a step I've missed here. I've, I've done it wrong again. What I need to do, because this is actually going to split and go either direction in this particular case, I need to uh, build some stackables here. It's actually going to be a little bit fiddly to get this to go up to the correct height, because it's only needs to go up by one, so I don't think a vertical conveyor can do that. I don't know if they, they can make that smaller jump. I can try. But yeah, they jump one and a half to start with. Or even two, maybe? I think that's straight up two. Yeah, so I can't jump up to that. We've got to uh, make a stackable like here. And then just slope it up. Did I do that right? No, I've not done that right at all. That's completely off kilter. What am I doing? There. And... Up. And yeah, what we've got to do is actually delete the spell. There are times when that trick does come into play, but actually here it doesn't, I've realised. Um, we've got to connect this to this. Then we've got to line ourselves up as perfectly we as we can with the middle of this. And put our splitter in right here. Which conveniently does actually line up with the, with the seam on the, on the belt, even though we didn't attempt to do that this time. Now this part is the bane of my existence. This sometimes will just not happen. Oh, there we go. There's a there's a pixel. There's a pixel somewhere at the bottom of the splitter that allows you to click on it and actually build off of it. So you haven't seen the true hell yet. We'll find that later when like there's a splitter that's slightly off and it just refuses to work at all. Okay, this needs to go back here. Though honestly, I don't think I need to store staters like ever, so I don't need to bring them back here probably. We've done it anyway. Clear out that stuff. And now, stators should be spreading along both sides. Why aren't they? They're not being made? They're just being made slowly. There we go. They're going both ways. It's just they're taking the time. They've started building up over there. That's all good. Immediately after this, we now have the, uh, the motor production before we've even really gone anywhere. And just because I want to really get it done, I'm going to do that straight away. So, uh, assembler. And we're going to build this on this side as well, I think. The, mo the roads are actually going to have to come back along the line and come this way. They're already coming back anyway, so they can be stored, so it does work out. But that's uh, an unusual quirk that's uh, a new thing now that I have a double-sided uh, bus. Things can go both ways. Okay, I've got to try and line this up neatly again. Is that how I did it? I can go check. Was that what I did over here? Uh, no, I've done this a notch further forward, so I think I'll... I'll push it back. Let's keep it uh, even. We'll use the same repeating systems every time and everything will look nicer at the end of it. Let me check what these do. Um, 10 rotors and 10 states per minute, so two of these will do. And yeah, it takes two of each to make one motor. Don't know, that doesn't seem to make sense to me, honestly, in terms of how motors actually work. That you would need two rotors and two stators, surely it's just one of each. But, I don't know, maybe there's certain motors that you need two. Or you plug them together to make double stages and do I don't I don't know enough about motors. I shouldn't be talking about this. So we're making 18 per minute of each right now, so uh, these two will consume 20 per minute, so everything that's being made might as well consume all of it. And it'll produce in total 10 per minute if it was running at full speed, but it won't be, it'll be running slightly slower. We're looking at uh, 8 per minute, I think. So not fantastic, it'll take a while to get everything done, but we can start just plugging them straight into the uh, space elevator and get that done. Actually, no, first thing we need to do is gather up 50 of them and do the research for um, Mark III belts, and then while the space elevator is doing its thing, we can run around the entire factory replacing everything with Mark III belts. It will be quite fun. Okay, so, um, we need a splitter right here, and we put that dead on the middle of the, uh, the thing. There. And then we need the rotors, and there's actually a problem here. They're on the same level as the stators, and this causes us trouble. We're going to have to do a bit of finagling with our belts. Actually, we might... Uh, oh, yeah, we do need to. We do need to do some finagling. Okay, so... First of all... We need to move the offending belt out of the way, but that's the stator belt. We can't move that because it's already in use here. So we've got to move the rotor belt up, and then it can come through a gap up here. And I think that's the way we want to do that. 
Oh, we could have it come down. No, we don't want it to come down, because then there's going to be a belt going straight across the middle of this, and it's going to drive me up the wall. Okay, yeah, the rotor belt needs to rise. Which is actually quite an involved process. It needs to go up by one. A whole one. So up, across, and down. And then... Splitter. Dead middle of that. Then this belt for steel needs to go up to get out of its way. So yeah, these were problems they didn't have to deal with when I had a single bus. Now that I have a double one, I've got to worry about one bus making room for the other. Technically, everything can just clip through everything else, but I don't want to do that because that's cheating. So we're doing it this way. Um, so... What I'll do is I'll get a stackable, like, right here, as soon as I can. That can just grab both the belts. So you will go onto... onto... that. You will go onto that. And I'm really happy that the devs recently changed the, uh... the rates at which splitters would block belts, because previously you couldn't build a belt in that position, it wouldn't allow it because the splitter would be in the way. And then I think they lowered splitters. I re previously thought they raised belts, but I think lowering splitters is what they actually did. So that there'd be room for a, a belt to sneak above. Okay, there's the two things we need. Also, rotors do not have an underside. That's fun. Stages seem to be fine. Ah, they've got a hole in them, and you can see all the innards, and you might not be supposed to. See oh no, you can see that from above as well. Okay. Sure. And then we want these to go down to ground level, really. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Let's put a stackable here. And then a ground conveyor. Like, I could do the other system of using, like, uh, vertical conveyors going down behind them, but that seems a complete waste when they're so close to the ground already that I can probably just do it like this without too much trouble. So if we do, like, splitter here and splitter... Oh... Here, that should work fine. Yep, that works. And then we just have to do the same... Well, th then we don't have to do the same here, then it will just work for here. Uh, did I do that right? I think so, I think that's the right spacing. To be in the middle of that and the next one I build if I ever do. Always plan for the future, make everything scalable. Admittedly, there's a limit to how far I can scale this because we get to the iron miners, but I don't think we'll ever need to build that far out. So, cross your fingers. Pull these across, and now it's super simple. Splitter. Splitter. Doop. Doop. That's the supply. Now we just need the power. So, we'll put it there. That can... Probably find a way across. Yep, that works fine. And that is motor production. Wait, there's no stators. Where are the stators? Okay, it's taken a while for them to build up, but there's presumably some stators in one of them at least, right? Make motors. Go. Have I done this wrong? Where are the stators? Oh, one's going this way. I guess, yeah, the, because everything's building up, it's taking forever for them to actually get... Yep, it's gone the wrong way. Come on. And then that one went that way. The next one. The next one will go all the way through. Here we go. There it is. It's doing it. And it'll go in one of these. It went over to that one. And then we're going to need a second before it can do anything. Yeah, this is going to be slow for a while. And yet, it's the wire. I think we're only making 60 per minute of it. So, that's going to be our next project. Yeah, it's, it's making it so that th not even one of these is running at full speed. Because producing 60 per minute and then splitting it two ways. And then two ways again. So, this is going to run half the time. And those two a quarter of the time. It's not good. Not good at all. We need 180 per minute to keep these all actually running constantly. So, I'm going to make more than that. Anyway, that's our plan. We are now making motors, but at an extremely slow rate. I'll sort out the unloading 
unloading of it right later. For now, I think I just want to have them collecting these so I can grab them quickly. There we go, one is being made! A whole one motor! Here it comes! We did it! Mine. And now I have five motors. Yep, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a minute for that to go, but it's okay. We can make this work um, by building another floor on top of that and using the iron wire recipe to make 540 wire per minute. I think that's what it comes out as, right? I think I think that's how we end up. Because I think they take 15 per minute of, of wire, so 120 will do. So half a floor of smelting will create 540 wire, and that's why combining uh, the alternate recipes of iron and wire is a good idea. So we'll do that, we'll have all the wire we could ever need, and this system can actually run at a decent speed. We'll upgrade everything to Mark III, it'll become awesome, and uh, we'll we'll do the, the space elevator stuff and keep working on the main bus. But yeah, I'm, I'm now getting very happy about how the main bus is looking. We're getting into proper... Um, properly how I... like my vision. I can see it now. I can see what I was trying to build. It is, it is forming before my very eyes, and I'm very excited to keep this uh, moving. Not sure what to work on next after motors. I think uh, we'll need to do encased industrial beams and things like that. That's something to think about later, though. Current project: millions of of copper wires coming our way, and then we can tear down the old one and use all that copper to make even more iron, even more iron, and even more iron wire. Maybe it's going to be fun. But without us to say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.